everyone, my name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. I have been dying to bring this video out but I also knew I had to wait a little bit because I wanted the person who inspired me to make this soap to receive her bar first before I actually showed the video. Now I did put it out there on both the um, YouTube stories and the Instagram stories asking who you thought was the soap maker that inspired me to um, create this next soap. And I had so many answers there. There were people, most of you either said um, sorcery soaps, um, royalty soaps or star cross soapery and it was none of those. A number of people actually said Luigi from Mario Brothers. I know he's out of a job these days, but I didn't know he'd got into soap baking. So that, that did give me a little bit of a chuckle. I think people were just reminded of the little mushrooms that go marching through the Super Mario game sort of um, pictures. The person that actually inspired me to do this soap was Tiara over at Gypsy Fade Creations. And I'll sp explain a little bit more why um, why she was the inspiration behind the actual design that went on to this soap and I have also sent her a bar just to wish her a happy birthday for last week. So let's go and see how I make my enchanted wood soap. Let's go! The very first thing I am going to do, if you watch the behind the scenes video you will know that I used the fragrance in the moon embed that we're going to put in this soap and it was a very fluid one to the point where it was really hard to actually unmold my moon embed. So I am going to put some sodium lactate into my lye water solution and this is measured out at 2% of my oil weight. That will just really help to harden this up so I can get it out of the mold when we are ready to do that. So then I am going to continue on as I would with all of my soaps. I'm going to pour my sodium hydroxide distilled water into my oils. I'm going to mix it up and then I am going to split off just a little bit for some colour. And then we will get pretty much straight into pouring this one after we've added fragrance. So I've got that mixed up. I've taken it just past the emulsion almost to a light trace because I know that this fragrance oil is going to play really nicely and I actually want it to thicken up a little. What I've got in this jug here, I have mixed some Shamrock Shimmer Mica with some Elusive and I've done that because I want the shimmer from out of that Shamrock Shimmer but it's a little bit too bright because I want to make some grass colour so I've just darkened it up with that Elusive so hopefully we'll get a nice shimmer through that black. Now what I'm going to do in my big pot here is add in my activated charcoal because we want this to be a black soap so we'll add a nice amount in there so we get a nice dark color all right so we've got that green all mixed up i'm going to leave that off to one side to set up for some piping i'm not going to add fragrance oil into it because i want my piping to actually set up i'm adding all my fragrance oil into my black here and this is moon child in case you missed the behind the scenes video this is not bramble berries version of moon child it is the um, aussie soap supplies version of it it's got notes of grapefruit bergamot thyme white tea nutmeg rose honey tuberose and jasmine it is a very very mild fragrance so this is great for those that don't like those highly perfumed soaps it's got just enough fragrance in there that you can actually smell it when you're using it but it's not highly scented um, it is quite nice though and as I said earlier it does play quite well in soap now the notes on the website says that it goes mauve before t um, actually fading over time when I did my tester it actually went bright yellow and the bright yellow did fade back over time when I did my moon in bed um, I have actually I used a pinky color in it and it has gone really mauve so that should actually also fade over time let me give this a really good mix in yeah. All right, so I've given that a really good mix. You can see this is still actually quite thin, but it is actually nearing on that. It probably is at a light trace there, which is good because I want my moon to sit in. What I have got in this bag are some soapy shreds, and I made these specifically for this soap. I put in some, um, I used a white base, and I put in a load 
of glow in the dark powder and I believe I use the green glow in the dark because we can actually get different glow in the dark colors and in fact yes it was green I'm just remembering I put a picture up on Instagram I um, in the stories showing these soapy shreds I'd finished my day I just shredded all these up they were sitting on a tray I turned off the lights and this tray just came to life and it was glowing so I'm really really pleased about that so during the day these white soap shreds should look like stars in the soap and then at night time they should glow as well so really really excited that the glow in the dark powder has actually worked on this one and when I shredded this soap up I used the finest shred on my grater and then I ran my knife through them as well just to get them nicely chopped so that I didn't have to do it with my um, stick blender and change the color of the black soap anyhow we've got that all mixed in so let's grab our mold and we're going to start pouring some of this in here So this has been sitting here for a while so my green is set up and I've now got it in my piping bag with a grass tip in the bottom of it. So the grass tip just has lots of little round dots in the bottom and all I am going to do is go across the top and just pipe myself hopefully what is going to look like some little bits of grass. Hopefully this is going to work. grass on there first thing I'm going to do is give this a very quick spritz with some blizzard mica because I want it to look like we've got that moonshine coming across the top on onto our grass here now I'll go and grab the embeds so here are the other embeds that I have made to go onto this soap. So if you caught the behind the scenes video, um, you would have seen I was making these little mushrooms. So we actually made the bigger size mushroom, but I've got two different size mushrooms to go on the top. And I also made off camera some tiny little flowers to go onto our soap as well. These are all made with some soap dough and the little flowers are made using some cookie dough or cookie cutter things so I'm going to pop these on here we're going to put one big mushroom we're going to squish it on in there make sure we are staying between our lines and we're going to put a little mushroom and then each of our little bars as well is just going to get this kind of array of little flowers going across the top like so and I am going to put my mushrooms on here randomly but so that every bar gets one of each size going to make sure that these get pushed in so that they don't come off once we go to cut our soap and again making sure we stay between our lines now the inspiration behind this particular soap when I did the unboxing of these um, fragrances that I got in and I smelt this one I said that I was going to do a soap that had a moon in the middle of it and then I was going to decorate the top with flowers and I got lots and lots of messages saying that that was exactly how um, Tierra from Gypsy Fay had done her moon child soap um, and I thought well I don't really want to copy exactly what she had done but because I really do admire the work that Tierra does with all of her soaps and all of her really wonderful creations I decided I still wanted to go ahead and do the moon soap in honor of her and her amazing talents with the PVC molds and I also wanted to kind of carry on some of the things that she likes and if you follow along with her you know that she is very much into the sort of foxes and that sort of thing as and I also associate that with little fairies and toadstools and and that sort of thing so that is kind of where my inspiration for this soap came from was from Tierra and her love of all things 
kind of wishful thinking well not wishful thinking but fairy like thinking so that is where this one came from I didn't want to do it exactly the same but I did want to pay sort of honor to her and her beautiful creations I'm going to keep sticking these little mushrooms and things on here and decorating it with these little flowers I probably made way too many flowers here but I wasn't sure how much room my little mushrooms are going to take up on here really finish it off before I bring you down for a closer look I am also going to put a little bit of fairy glitter on the top well it's not glitter it is the holographic biodegradable um, sparkle just to bring that to life and now I'm going to bring you down for a closer look okay so here it is here is my moon child I really do hope that I have got those mushrooms all nicely lined up really really pleased with how this one is looking gonna leave it sit here overnight and we will be back in just a moment and we are going to take a look on the inside look at that it is all sparkling goodness I am so looking forward to getting this one cut open I am going to do it on the single bar cutter because I really do not want to damage any of these mushrooms I want to try and avoid them and by using the single bar cutter I should be able to make just some little adjustments around the mushrooms so that we still get a full size bar but we don't damage any of my little mushrooms here that is perfect we are around that one so let's go through and we'll take a look at this first bar oh wow and that is a really really starry night the moon hasn't quite sunk all the way to the bottom but it, it's almost there this is one one of the ones from off that damaged end I would say because it's such a small little moon but it is just absolutely perfect in there and that is the top with the little mushrooms and the flowers so this is an end piece obviously we haven't got the star on the back or the moon on the back there but I am absolutely loving that so far that is so super duper cute let me um wipe that off and we'll go for the next one this one's going to be a rather long cutting experience I'm gonna say just so we don't get any damage oh that little flower's a bit loose but we've missed the mushrooms perfect let's grab this next one here and that is our moon in there I really love the colors that have swirled through that moon it just looks like that perfect little spring moon in there loving loving all those stars so you can see the difference so there that somewhere in the middle of that bar is where the moon changes size so that is the big side and then we've got the small side over there I love all these little stars in there what I will do is I'll leave some of these bars sit here throughout the day and then I will take them into a nice little dark spot and I will take some photos of them and hopefully like they did when they were sitting on my bench they will glow because that's always fun to have a glow in the dark soap here let me grab this one here too I am absolutely in love with this one it's still a little bit soft which is all due to that fragrance oil there but I just so wanted to get this one cut open so we could see what was on the inside I am absolutely loving the top of that and I am so thankful that everybody actually mess all the people that actually did message me saying you you know that soap sounds exactly the same as Tierra's because I am just absolutely stoked with how this one has come together it is just very very different to what I usually do because usually I'll stick to flowers and not so much the sort of mushrooms and fairy garden side of things but I'm really really pleased that you guys also helped me inspire to take or to take inspiration from off of Tierra to do this one 
so I am so, oh, I really love that side of that moon there really 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 happy with this one let me get that little bit of mushroom off so we've got a little bit of a, um, a damaged one but it won't be too much there I'll cut one more for you so let's come along a little bit more straight between them I've done a pretty good job at placing those mushrooms actually they're not too bad I love the color that that green has gone it's still got that brightness from off the shamrock but is just dulled down to a really nice natural sort of grass color there really 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 happy with this one so I hope you have enjoyed watching how I did my moon child soap if you did why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below and until the next video comes out I hope you have a good one and I will see you then bye